at sea level, and it's surrounded by all of these extremely steep hills. Now, one of those extremely steep hills that was right by Pioneer Square here, they said it was so steep that halfway up it, you'd start using language that was not considered entirely appropriate. So they named it Profanity Hill. So <laughs> the city engineer said, you guys know how we all hate Profanity Hill? We have an idea. Let's take all the dirt from Profanity Hill, and we're going to spread it out over the burned out section of Pioneer Square. And what that's going to do is raise the level of the city, and that will address a lot of the planning problems we've had. Things like the flooding streets and the exploding crappers. Now, the business owners, they said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. How long is it going to take? City thought about it and said, oh, eight to ten years. <laughs> well, you can imagine, the business owners just scoffed. They said, look, we can't wait that long. We need to rebuild now. So the city said, okay, okay, that's fine. That's your private property. You can rebuild now if you want to. But the city streets, those belong to the city. And we are going to go ahead and elevate them. And that is exactly what they did. For 33 square blocks, the city went down every single street. And on both sides of the street, they built these giant retaining walls. And that's what you guys are seeing behind me today. This is a 15-foot retaining wall. And then, using a mining technique called hydraulic sluicing, they took the dirt from Profanity Hill and they sprayed it between the retaining walls. So what they would do is spray in a layer of dirt, then they would put in the new water pipes, the new sewage pipes, all that kind of stuff. Then they would spray in another layer of dirt on top of that, and then they would cap the whole thing off with cobblestones. When all was said and done, Seattle had beautiful brand new city streets that were anywhere from 8 to 35 feet higher than the sidewalks next to them. <laughs> See a problem, right? So after the city gets done elevating the streets, they turn to the business owners and they say, okay, we're done. Go ahead and build the new sidewalks. Business owners say, what are you talking about? We lost everything in the fire. The rebuild cost us a fortune. We're not the ones who decided to elevate the city streets. You are. You pay for the new sidewalks.